About 18 months ago, DT Swiss released their EXP Freeha body system. This took everything they've learned with their normal star ratchet system and brought it up to date, made a few changes, made it lighter, made it better, and supposedly improved the reliability. The problem is that DT Swiss stuffed up here. They've actually made some mistakes on this little floating star ratchet, which is causing some real problems with some hubs. I'm Tristan from Wheelworks. We're going to look at what those problems are, how you can fix them, and what it's all about. Let's jump in. So what's the problem? On some of the EXP Freehub body hubs, this bit wasn't made properly, and it's causing an issue with the Freehub body. What DT Swiss are explaining is that the Freehub body can rotate in both directions, so it's not engaging when you pedal. What we've seen from our customers is the opposite. It's not disengaging properly. What we found with our customers is that this is causing all sorts of weird intermittent front derailleur, front chain ring issues with chain drop and this kind of weird front derailleur shifting from time to time. That's been super frustrating for our customers and they've gone to a lot of effort in terms of replacing chain rings, chains, looking at the bottom bracket and all that stuff at the front to try and figure out what the problem is, when in fact it was the rear hub. And if DT Swiss had come forward a lot sooner, they would have saved a lot of time, probably a lot of money and definitely a lot of frustration. Now DT Swiss, this problem has been around for some time and DT Swiss have made an active stance that they're not gonna tell anyone about it. They tried to deal with it quietly uh, and just kind of left us in the dark, which as a DT Swiss dealer is a really, really frustrating thing to occur. We've seen other brands like Canyon have these massive problems. I shouldn't say that. They've had a tiny problem with one broken handlebar and they issued essentially a global recall. They were super transparent about what the problem is, the steps they were gonna to take to fix it. And they let all of their customers, all of their staff, all of the, the world know that they had a problem and they were working on fixing it. DT Swiss have taken the opposite approach. They've told no one, they've buried their hand in a Swiss sandpit, and um, it, it's only that it's sort of come out in the public domain that DT Swiss have finally admitted there's a bit of an issue and they've put a technical bulletin up on their website explaining what the fix is. So that's what DT Swiss did and didn't do about this issue. But what have we done as Wheelworks about the issue? When we approached DT Swiss initially and said, hey, we've got these problems, we had radio silence, nothing came back. When the Cycling Tips published an article saying that there was an issue, we were able to go to DT and say, hey, what's going on here? They finally said, oh yeah, 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 there is an issue and we'll send you some spare parts. That obviously happened way too late. It should have happened a lot sooner. Once we knew what was going on, we've got three different solutions for our customers. We've reached out to all the customers that have bought an EXP free hub body system from us and they should all have an email explaining uh, that their hub could be affected, how to check for that and then what the next steps are. Any replacement parts that are needed for those hubs, we've immediately couriered out to the customers and given them instructions on how to fit those and install them. Most of the fixes can be done without taking the bike to a bike shop, so that is absolutely fantastic news. So how do you know if your DT Swiss hub has this issue or potentially has this issue? Well, on every DT Swiss hub, there's a batch code. In the middle of that batch code is a three-digit number, and it's the middle digit that we're concerned about here. If that digit is a one, then your hub has got the correct bits inside it with the right surface finish. You don't need to do anything, your hub is just fine and ready to go. If your number is not a one, then potentially, and the key word here is potentially, your hub will have an issue. So what does this mean if you've got an EXP hub? Well, if your hub does not have that number one in the batch code, there's gonna be three possible outcomes here. The first one is that you have not ridden the wheel. This is a brand new wheel that's been delivered to you. You're waiting on your custom frame. You haven't ridden the wheels yet. All you're gonna to need to do is replace this floating star ratchet. It's a tool-free job. Pop the free hub body off. Take the old one out, throw it in the bin, put the new one in. Job done, literally 35 seconds. That's nice and easy. The second outcome. Let's say that you have been riding the bike, riding the wheel, but you have not experienced any of the problems that DT Swiss are explaining. So that means that it's not freewheeling both directions, you're not having this disengagement problem. In that case, you're gonna to have to replace everything that's on the outboard side of the hub. That means a brand new free hub body, it means a brand new floating star ratchet, remember this is the bit that had the issues, a replacement spring, and again, this is a tool-free job. You'll have to take the cassette off. However, once the cassette's done, you're looking at you know probably a minute tops to sort of pull all that stuff off, throw it in the bin, and put all the new stuff on. The third possible outcome is if you have been riding your wheel and you have experienced these problems. So that means you've gone to pedal and you haven't had any drive, the hub is, is freewheeled in both directions, 
or that you're getting this sort of weird chain drop disengagement problem at the front of your bike. If that's the case, then you're gonna to need to replace all of those bits on the outsides. So that's the free hub body, the spring, and the floating star ratchet, as well as the fixed star ratchet. This is the one that threads into the, the actual hub shell itself. It does require a special tool, and it is a bit more of a, an in-depth job. You are gonna to have to take this to a DT Swiss service center or bike shop, or of course, if you're one of our customers, just get in touch, get the wheel back to us, and we'll sort this out. This is a bigger job. However, it's still you know, reasonably straightforward. The actual hub itself doesn't have to be replaced and you don't have to rebuild the wheel. So that's a good outcome there. So that's the problem with the DT Swiss EXP free hub body system. And those are the three possible solutions depending on whether your hub has been ridden or not. For all of the hubs that we have here in stock, we've already sorted this issue. So anything we sell from now on, even if it is in that affected batch number, will not have this problem. It's really important that we say that DT Swiss hubs are still good quality hubs. We're still gonna recommend them and we still believe that they're gonna build into really good quality, long lasting, durable wheels. We are super disappointed with how DT Swiss dealt with this issue though. And we really hope if they have any similar problems in the future, that they come to us first as a dealer, give us some information and let us help us work with our customers proactively. It's gonna save a whole lot of time, a whole lot of heartache. If you have any questions about this DT Swiss EXP issue, you can put them in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and I'm Tristan from Wheelworks.